What is up, YouTube? I'm Nintendoman64, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we found Archie and his plan to awaken Kyogre, and unfortunately, it succeeded. But now, we must go meet up with Wallace at the Spear Pillar. Which is weird because I have not found the Spear Pillar yet. In fact, I have not even began to go on my journey for it. So, we are going to fight a lot of trainers along our way to reaching legitimacy in this game. I did bring Maria back because I don't believe we need the other spiel anymore. At least as of this moment. And Chocobo is definitely not going to get any experience, so I may as well give him the uh, XP share. Alright, XP share... Uh, need the repel out. Okay, I got plenty of, uh, things. And now, luckily, we don't need Dive to go find the Spear Pillar, from what I remember. I fought a lot of these trainers already. On the side, though, none of them are, like, major trainers. I think this is the only guy we haven't fought yet. Yeah, there we go. Evergrande City, Evergrande, or Evergrande City is still a long ways away. And he's talking about well, that's where the location of the Elite Four is, but we're not there yet. We still got a lot of stuff to do for uh, our perspective there. Uh, let's uh, let's give Maria some opportunities here. Fake out. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Nice job, Maria. I know I'm not good now, but I think I can win eventually. Fine, whatever. Whatever. Nope. You're a loser. You're a loser. I went the wrong way. No, I went the right way. Alright, we got to think this is a double battle. And if that is the case... That's true. Let's keep Yuffie out there. Why not at this point? Chin Chow and Sharpedo, I actually did pick right. Uh, Giga Drain and Brick Break. Where's my, where the hell is it? I think it's still outside. Damn it, I'm gonna have to cut soon. Oh no, there it is. Un minuto. Oh. As you guys already learned from my Mario Kart video with Pebbles and Shermy, I have a fan now, and I'm using it while I'm recording, so I can keep myself from, you know, falling apart in the heat. I wish I had a way to stave off the cold in the winter, but I digress. And no one leveled up. Oh, oh well. Winning sure isn't easy. Oh my, I wanted to relax a little more. Well, that's what you get for being a tool. Now, we are looking for the town called Pacific Log. It's going to be very important on our quest to gaining as many of the Pokemon as possible. While also... Ha, I can't believe I just dodged those trainers. Ah, two trainers. Ah, oh, damn. My luck broke. But we are looking for the town called Pacific Log because we're going to need to go to that town. Not only so we can keep coming back to the Spear Pillar later on when we want to go catch Rayquaza, but also so we can uh, access our way to catch the Reggie Pokemon. Like Reggie Rock, Reg Ice, and Reggie Steel. It's actually very important. And we'll also need to catch the Pokemon we need for that. I have to write down some notes for it, so it may take a little while. <laughs> Like, I remember you need a Whale Lord. I don't remember what the other one was. I think it was a Relicant, but... I'll have to write down all the directions I have to do for each of the Reggie fights, because they're gonna take a while. I remember in Emerald, it's especially difficult. So, yeah. Up. Oh. Hi, Speedy. Wait, we should battle you and I. Cool. 
Oh my god, you have a waste of a Pokemon in Love Death. What the hell? Chocobo goes to level 39. Awesome. Good for, good for him. My team needs them to grow. Okay, here we are. Welcome to Pacific Log Town. Everything is floating in the water, which is weird. You'd think that with one strong gust of wind, this whole place would fall apart, but I digress. Uh, this is the only town in the game that isn't mandatory. What do I mean by that? Literally nothing I can think of happens in this town, story-wise, so... Kinda confusing. The only thing of note in this area is this chick right here. Or I believe it's the boy. Let's find out. It's, yes, this is the chick. She will offer you a trade for a horsey. But you have to give her a bag on for it. Oh no, never mind. I think it's this guy. Yes, there you go. For a bag on. A bag on. A pure dragon type for horsey. If I could evolve it into Kingdra, I'd say yes, but I can't evolve it into Kingdra, so... No deal, Jack. Ugh, I don't believe this. Oh, well. Okay. Now, Sky Pillar, I believe, is... Oh, we got a double battle. Uh, screw it. Oh, apparently we don't have to fight them. I, I hate the frickin' repels wearing off. They should be able to be on forever. Oh. It feels so good right now, this fan. Only two bucks, too. Alright, you are gonna... Fake out on Wingle. You are gonna use Brick Break on a Zoom Roll. Let's see how it works. That didn't do anything. Did you just hurt that poor innocent Maria? Drain the crap out of that rat. You use facade. Don't know why, I just want you to use facade. And that is a dead wingo. Yay! And no one leveled up. Yay! Okay, let's see. I gotta remember the exact direction of Sky Pillar. I think it's right here. Yes, it is. Awesome. At least it should be right here. Yep, it is. I'm not sure if we have to go all the way up Sky Pillar right now. But we may as well, just in case. Oh, where's Wallace? So we found him. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I left you behind. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. MN64, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake! There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry! Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Sutopolis. I've got to go back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Now this is Sky Pillar, we're definitely going to come back later, but we can get a lot of powerful ghost types in this game. Oh boy. Oh no wait. Yes, it does work out. Great. I thought we needed the bike for this one, I was going to cry. But no, it's just a way to get around places. See, Sky Pillar doesn't have to be an a-hole. Alright, there's Rayquaza. I don't think we have to catch it yet. Just saying. I think it flies off from here. Yes, it does. The awakened Rayquaza flew off. 
Okay. And let's fly ourselves back to Sutopolis and watch what magic we unleash. Those two people, the causes of everything, just standing there going, Dirt for dirt. They're just staring at each other. So, dude, you want to get pizza after this? Oh, sure, why not? Oh, my God! Not the green guy! I didn't like that guy. Why does he have to come here? Because Rayquaza is apparently God in this world. Which begs me to question what the point of having every other Pokemon generation involve a god really means. Ho Ho was, and then it's Rayquaza, and then it's Arceus, and then it's this, and then it's this, and then just pick one. Oh, Rayquaza's scaring the crap out of them, that's for sure. Good for you, buddy. And there we go. Sutopolis has been taken care of. Oh boy. Magic carp. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna catch you. Don't know why. I just feel like doing it. Hey. 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 You bomb. Fine. Nope. Don't care enough. So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action put everything right. Again, as if nothing had happened. Oh, cool! Now they're gonna want to harness the power of Rayquaza. Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless, to Pokemon. And now they're gone. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return the, those orbs. MN64, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sutopolis, no, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me. Please accept it. HMO7, which is Waterfall. Amazing. The hidden machine contains Waterfall. If you have the Rain Badge, a Pokemon that has learned that HM move can force its way up Waterfall. And where does one get the Rain Badge? You know, don't you? That's right. You have to beat the Sutopolis Gym Leader, which is you. Right? No, wait. I don't even know when we fight this guy. I think it's his... Mentor one or something. When you're all set to go, step through that door. Now we can do that, but is my team prepared for that fight? I think we can be. Because as you would expect, the two topless gym hosts. That's right. Not ice types, water types. And it's a puzzle, so isn't that just a kick in the head? Oh, damn it, I already screwed it up. I already screwed it up, guys. I may as well just battle all these trainers while I can. It's not like I wasn't going to anyway. I was just going to try to see if I could do it all on the first try. I'll show you the sublime techniques I learned from our leader, Juan. Bring it on! Andrea with your love desk. Level 40, holy crap. These gyms are OP to the max. Did you honestly just use flail on me? Big please. Bye bye. And once Chocobo's into the mid 40s, we can stop with him for a little while. Or maybe even earlier, I don't know. I should teach you how harsh battles can be. Well, let's see how harsh your battle will be. You have a Goldeen! Watch and learn, sister! I think that's an insta-kill. 
Let's find out. Yes, it is. So, yeah, so much for that harsh battle technique. Oh, you're strong. I am. Alright, so let's... Damn it, I screwed it up again. Oh, well. I've done it before in one shot, I just don't remember how to do it. Oh, now I remember how to do this one. The third one is the worst. I think I know how to do it, though. Ha-ha! I did it! So let's screw it up! I train my Pokémon together with Juan. Don't think I'm a pushover. I think you're a total pushover, Beauty Olivia. You got a clam pearl, so you can't be that good. Bye bye. Corpish? We haven't seen Corpish yet. Corpish isn't actually not that bad a Pokemon. Like uh, the Krabby King or line, it's very physically of uh, offensive base, so it doesn't really get too good until Gen 4. But it's still pretty good. It evolves into Crawdon, and that's a Water Dark type. A bit better of a Water Dark type than, uh, Sharpedo, in my opinion. But I digress. And Lombre. That's where we have to switch out. Terra, you're up. Fly! Oh damn. Fly! Fly! Okay, we're running a bit low on, uh... Oh, I got plenty of what to call it berries, so I think we're good. Yeah, we got plenty of Lepa berries. And on uh, Giga Drain, thank you. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies before you can say oops. So that doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. Azura. Fake out. And... Start. Oh, Giga Drain. Meryl, come on, are you gonna have the whole line? Why am I even asking that question? Because I already know the answer. Of course. Of freaking course. Ugh. Chocobo, you're level 40, thank god. So now I can give some experience to freaking Yuffie. Actually, I may actually want to give this to Snowpop. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna give it to Snowpop. The Pokemon Gym of the highest level in the Hoenn region. That's the Topless Gym. Like the Viridian Gym. And the Blackthorn City Gym. And the Blah 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 City Gym. I don't know. But why do you guys have nothing but bad water type Pokemon? Come on! This is like an insult to water type trainers everywhere. Like Misty shakes her head in shame. Giggle, your grim look is so charming. Wow. Hubba hubba. Hubba hubba indeed, Brianna. My scowl. It works really well. Forest story, you bitch. You bitch. Okay, looks like I have to use another one. Do we have any normal ethers? I do. So let's save all those, uh, what's it called? A 
okay? So you're taking care of these two, so let's start with you! A graceful glide across the ice while crossing no lines. A trainer putting on that performance would be elegantly beautiful. I am beautiful. Me and my weird white hat thing. Unless that's my hair. Then I'd be Riku and I'd be awesome. Which, by the way, I'm, I'm still having difficulty getting to, uh, uh, Reverse Rebirth Mode. I really want to play Reverse Rebirth Mode, too, because Riku is so much more fun than, to play as than Sora in that game. Snowpuff wants to learn rest. You have no time for rest. No! Why would I teach you snore and not teach you rest? That's, that's just dumb. Sharpedo. Yes. UV! Brick break! And... One more! You came all the way here, but you won't get to see one. Not if you lose to me, you won't. You know, I could just avoid you if I do lose to you. It's not like you're a mandatory trainer. Chrissy. And you're Goldie. Fake out. Giga Drain. A Whalemer. At least you have something different. I'm tired of seeing freaking Goldines and Marils. Oh crap, we still got two more over here. Ooh, it's a double battle, too. You know what that means, Lynn. Experience for you. The sight of one conducting a battle, the very beauty of it compelled me to be a trainer. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you'd like. Really rare, huh? Well, what constitutes a really rare Pokemon? Love this and Oh, Phoebus! Phoebus actually is pretty rare. I actually did consider using Phoebus in this game. But I opted to use, uh... Obviously use the Celio line. Uh, honestly, I think Eddie and Lynn's attack is a one-hit KO against those two. That's down Phoebus. Another Phoebus? You really didn't want to evolve that thing? You want that thing to be ugly forever? Well, fine by me. Doesn't make my job harder. As much as I like giving Maria the experience of this gym, I think Lynn is going to be the one that gets the most experience for this fight, so... We'll keep Maria out. Actually, we'll keep Maria out there for one or two of them. I know a few she'll, she'll be really useful against, but... For the most part... She may not be. And you don't want her to be not useful. Do you? I know you guys don't. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. I can never get it once perfectly on the same time while I'm recording. But that's okay. Oh, damn it. Wow, I suck today. Much better. Now that we have our whole team assembled, Chocobo, you're probably going to be the last person that ever gets any experience in this fight. And I think we're good. Let's do this. Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader. In my place, I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let's begin our match, shall we? 
please, Eli you shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Alright. Juan. Let's take this on. Juan. You and your weird hair. And I officially lost respect for you as a trainer. Any respect I could have possibly had for you? Gone. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for wasting my time. Oh, come on! The odds of it, of it confusing me are astronomical. But nope, it's gonna confuse me. I hate this game sometimes. Alright, Whiskash. Damn it. I need to use a, uh... Oh, no, I know. Never mind. Whiskash is a water ground type. I don't know why he's using it against me here now. I was thinking he'd want to save it for Lin, in case I do decide to throw out Lin, which is probably now. Just very curious. I'd like to know what his strategy is. Ooh, Snowpuff, level 40. And okay, here's Celio. And to be honest, I think we're going to throw Yuffie out for Celio. I'd love Yuffie to get a ton of experience here. And Brick Break really should do the drill, since it's ice first and water second. Oh, it lives! Damn it, that thing's tough. I wonder why I love it so much. Ha! Ah! Ha, ah, you idiot! You fool! Let's just hope I'm not paralyzed this turn. Ha! Goodbye, you fool! For paralyzing you, you shall get punished! Alright, Kingdra's up next. Alright. That would be Maria's job. You guys remember Kingdra, don't you? Kingdra is a water dragon type. My all-time favorite Pokemon. All time. I'm not even kidding. It is that good a Pokemon. I love using it in competitive battle and everything. It's just such a well-balanced and awesome Pokemon. And of course, one freaking double team. One. Not even two. One. Causes me to miss. Now if I miss, I won't mind. But I'm not gonna miss because this game is weird like that. Oh baby, we froze it. Perfect. I just realized I forgot that it's part water type. So it's kind of redundant to throw out uh, Ludicolo against. Oh come on! What is that crap? Ah, that's a dead Terra. Ugh. I need a new plan. All right, Lynn. Shockwave. Punch sickle, punch sickle stick. I hate confusion. I hate it! I hate it with a burning passion! Alright, Lynn's down. Do I have anybody else with a move that doesn't miss, per se? Let's try Snowball. Body Slam. Ha! Ha ha ha! Uh, Dara. And... Lynn. Keep holding the fort down, buddy. You're doing great. Ah, oh, I held the wrong Pokemon. Oh, well. Congratulations, Yuffie. You get another shot at being in this fight if we keep losing.
I hate you. And everything you represent. Uh, try this again. What the hell? What the hell? Come on! Critical hit, come on. You owe me that much. What the hell? Stop spamming rest, you dick! Getting on my nerves. Just die on oh come on. Just die already. Is this seriously happening right now? Seriously, is this is this seriously happening right now? Actually, you know what? Screw this. It may not even work, though. That's the thing. Dragon breath. Of course, it's ever gonna- it's gonna miss! Every single goddamn move's gonna miss! Ugh. I swear to God. I swear to freaking God. Die, you stupid dragon seahorse. <laughs> oh, naturally it's gonna do more damage now. Oh, fuck you, one. I could make a comment, but I'm not going to because I'm a good boy. Is this seriously happening again? Jesus H. Christ! I mean, my God! My God! Let me guess, I'm gonna hit him again, and he's gonna be asleep, I'm gonna hit him again, now he's gonna wake up and use rest again! That's happened like nine freaking times! Thank you, something other than rest! You rat bastard! I'm honestly surprised it didn't just confuse me right there. I'm honestly really surprised it didn't. Now die and stay dead, you evil bastard! Oh my god. Crawled on, thank god, something I can kill. Oh my god, this, this has been a disaster.
And taunting me was completely pointless because I was going to kill you with one move anyway. My god. My god. I... If I meet you in real life, Juan, I'm going to kill you. That's not grace. That's bullshit. That was the most bullshit thing that has ever happened to me in ever. I don't care if you want to say that battle was excellent because it wasn't. It wasn't, Juan, you rat bastard, who senses the brilliant shine of skill that I have that will overcome all. Ugh. Ugh. I hate you. With every fiber of my being. Having the Rain Badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. The Rain Badge will also allow the use of the HM Move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we share, take this. TMO3, which is Waterfall. I hate you. I hate you. And I will always hate you. Until I get my Flygon or Salamence or whatever I'm gonna get. I will hate you with every fiber of my being. Every single solitary fiber of my being. I'm out. My god. My I mean my god, did that that did that seriously just happen during a recording? Okay then, um, I think we're gonna spend the next episode in Meteor Falls exploring and catching Pokemon, so I'll meet you guys there. Thank you guys for joining me, I'm Nintendoman64, join me next time, where we do that stuff, and, god I need a drink, sayonara.